So here is a car wreck that got caught up in the lava. This is some of the late lavas. Uh, this should have erupted December 4th to 5th, according to the satellite information. And uh, this here caught this car and uh, maybe the car was already derelict, but uh, well, it burned out at some point. And you can actually see there's a stump of a palm tree inside here. So this car was pushed in the lava flow and then it got uh, stuck on the palm tree and then it burned out. And here you have some nice Pahoy Hoy lava just uh, floating around this. So somehow this seems to have been pushed ahead of this car because the rest is rather rubbly here, uh, rather intriguing. And uh, here we see some of the melted material and some of the glass clearly has melting features as well it's bent and uh, that means very 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 high temperature so here as well and uh, there seems to have lava uh, has dripped inside the car and it was burning and uh, therefore it almost looks, it looks like dripstones in, in a lava tunnel where lava got reheated and uh, then remobilized and here you see a lava cover on this car whoa what a crazy place so uh, fascinating but a bit a bit eerie a bit awkward and uh, here of course the plastic has burned away here's a few of the uh, the wires and threads left that were in the tire uh, but uh, well this is uh, well almost not recognizable you see the, the lava is dripping out here at this little kind of opening oh well it did trip out so very very strange and here are some of the tools uh, somebody must have recovered them and left them here already so uh, I don't think they're very useful in order to fix this particular car uh, anymore and uh, yeah this is how it looks wow quite a sight and the lava field of course continues and uh, there we have a house and uh, this is engulfed in lava it's effectively a kibuka it's a little island that is surrounded by lava on either side and uh, the garden and the house seem to have survived so uh, i hope the, the house doesn't have a lot of structural damage so the owners might actually be able to come back so we are still in the exclusion zone here this is the inner part that is still off limits and um, you have to kind of pass through a security check there has been apparently some looting now and this is why the security check has been a bit a bit more more stringent today so the police was very rigorous and wanted to see all documents before we were allowed in but i was keen if time for a bit to kind of record this particular car so we came back in and uh yeah these features are just uh crazy here's the old steering wheel and uh, here are some of these glass, melted glass features again. And the bonnet with lava cover. So, thank you very much, all the best, and I hope you find that instructive. Also, I'm not sure, I find it a little uncomfortable. Okay, bye-bye, good luck, all the very best.